we're going to go explore the Pike Place Market. Live life on your own terms. This is Two Doves Nation. Let's fly. Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to our channel. If you're new to our videos, we vlog, we eat, and we travel to share our experiences. If you would like to join the Dove Nation, hit the subscribe button down below. Let's go see what Pike Place has to offer. Let's fly. This road has always been called Pike Place. Mm -hmm. That is where the name of the market comes from. It's, it's kind of boring. I like but it. The road used to be made out of wooden <laughs> plank. So it was a wooden road originally. And this is where farmers put their foot down. Farmers started this market in 1907 to cut the middlemen out of their business because middlemen were price gouging. Mm. So by getting rid of middlemen, farmers were able to meet directly with their customers and farmers made more money and customers paid a lot less than they were used to paying. So by getting rid of the middleman, it was a win-win for everybody but the middleman. And we don't care about them. Yeah, they were being greedy. And that is one of the defining principles of the market today. That's why you have to produce what you sell if you have a little stall in the market. That goes back to how the market began. You don't have to be a farmer, just a producer of any kind. So you can make pottery, or you could paint, or you can be a photographer, or you can make screen prints for t-shirts, so long as you produce what you sell. Yeah. But I mentioned Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, they're here too. <laughs> because they started here. So we do have normal businesses in the market, but every one of them is original, because one of the rules in this place is that you have to start here. You have to be an original shop if you want to start in the market. And what that means is that the market is this great incubator because if you start here, you can take your success out of the market and you can get super famous, just like Starbucks. We're not gonna kick you out for being successful, but you have to start here. are so good they're wood fire baked he said at 200 degrees until 98% of the moisture is gone so good dry cherries how do you like the dry cherries they look like raisins but it's got for such a small um, piece it packs a lot of flavor mm -hmm. Glad corn. Mm. It, they kind of compare it to half popped popcorn. It's more crunchy, but you don't get the the kernels. Hey guys, we are at um, City Fish Company. It's the oldest stall here in Pine Place, and it's over a hundred years old. So. We're going to try one of their smoked salmon. It's, I guess, king crab. I mean, king, king crab. crab. King salmon mixed with brown sugar and some salt and pepper. Let's try it. Did everybody in my group get some? Mm -hmm. It could be pretty addictive. Oh my goodness. Um, cream cheese and a bagel. Oh my goodness. Take a look here, guys. What you guys just tried it's my turn to sample some of this sandwich. don't want to save any money just that one all over These are Nova strips. They're so good. We're going to go see the infamous gum wall. Since November. Yes, November was the last time they cleaned it all off. The other spot where it's so close. I don't want to get too close to it. Shrimp cocktail. Smoked salmon. On a stick. And some lovely barbecue pork buns. I'm going to try this one first. Yeah. Ooh. 
sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. With the spices. I'm not going to bite it off the stick because I'm sharing it. I'm just going to break a piece off. Oh yeah. You can really taste the smokiness. And it's really dry. Oh yeah. Oops. The horseradish just went up my nose from the cocktail sauce. That is super good. Mm -hmm. um, could I try the hot mac and cheese? A small mac, hot. Yeah. The spicy. Uh -huh. I think they call this the mariachi uh, mac and cheese. It has Anaheim chilies and some vegetables and stuff in it. And it's nice and hot. It does taste more like a pasta dish instead of mac and cheese. It kind of reminds me of hamburger helper. Mm -hmm. We just came from Bircher's and they're known for their world famous mac and cheese. We got the mac and cheese with the spicy. With the chilies in yeah. it. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at the seam, yeah. Let me try it. Not too bad. It's, it's more saucier so because of the cheese. It's got more like a pasta sauce cut to it. It's not bad. Throw in some shrimp cocktail with this. Oh man. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our videos, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button. This is Amanda reminding you to keep soaring to the end. Out.